talks about a, a distance right let's say you, you you are here this is your house maybe you are in this room you want to move to your a friend's place right maybe your friend's house here so you need a certain distance maybe you have to walk a certain distance from your place to your friend's house or maybe from here to your school it is something of that nature is all okay so very is all about a distance and as well as a measurement so using this question to demonstrate or, uh, exactly how we can find a bearing and a distance of uh, in the real life so let's have a look at this question from the question we have uh, uh, the berry from your friend's place that is the key here to where you are to your house or maybe to your home here to be what uh, uh, 240 degrees so what it means is that in berry if you want to measure you start from here right this is the north pole here so you start from this direction so from here to this place is 90 so from here to it's 19 but we are told up uh, you move or maybe your friend move on a uh, an angle of 240 degrees so 240 will be somewhere at this portion right so maybe from here to here that's 90 plus this one that will be a 180 and then if you are left with 60 so that's as i got my 60 so that is a 180 or plus 60 uh, will be your 240 right so from this place this is how you take the measurement you don't go this way you start from this line this is the north pole okay from here to here that's also uh, 240 degrees also here will be what 60 we agree so from here to this place is so the one eight and then we assist you to that to get up uh, 240 degrees here. now you, how many distance did you take it took a distance of uh, 36 kilometers right so you are moving on on this direction here. exactly okay? on the direction of uh, 240 and then you took a distance of uh, 36 kilometers so now at your your, your your home maybe in your house here you move on another angle of uh, uh 315 degrees so remember what i said earlier also from here right from this line from the north pole so from this line then you move on on an angle of uh 315 or uh, degrees here so from here about to be 180 plus this is here should be 270 and then we need some just some few degree here to get to uh 315 okay so this is the bell so you are moving on this angle of uh, 315 degrees to uh, the school so let's say the school here is so what i'm calling the x here right so this is how simple we find what is the distance the distance was of uh, 15 kilometers okay so this is how simple you draw the bearing so let's look at something here now if you here is 60 degrees look at the angle here so this small angle is so, uh, 60 degrees then here will also be 60 right you call it what alternate this small angle here is for 60 degrees so that the, the, this line here this angle alternate to the one here right so that is the weight and what it means that that small angle here will be equal to the one here so that is how i go about 60 degrees over here now look at what is happening here what is happening at this point now if you hear so uh, uh what to be the, here how did you get the 45 degrees here maybe you may pause the video and then just think about second minutes and we'll come back and come and check that okay so one thing about bearing is that you know that everything so if you turn yourself 360 degrees maybe like this 360 is what 30 it starts from here then you turn what in the whole circle then it means that you are what 360 degrees right so that is it so meaning that the whole bearing from here to this place is so 360 degrees then you are total we move on the barrier of what 315 degrees so from here to this place is so 315 then we are left with 45 right just 45 this small line 45 degrees to get to 360 so that's how i got to uh, 45 degrees so remember what i said earlier on that the angle here the small angle here which whatever is here alternate to the one that is down here so that is how i got to my 45 degrees here okay so this is how simple you you, you, you can draw some bearing or but one trick here is that know that the distance from from your your, your place your home to your friends or uh, uh places so 36 kilometers which is smaller than what from your place to to the school right so meaning that from your place to to the school is longer that is what 55 kilometers so this line has to be a longer than this one here right so that is there's a, a simple trick there now let's answer the questions that follow now in answer mathematics you need something right you and i know that this is what a whiteboard marker and then this is what the whiteboard so we can use this and that one to write the reason is that we are not using a permanent marker because we cannot wipe it 
so we need this and this one right so that is very simple what do you need here what do you we need another guy a guy called a cosine rule and then why why do you need this guy here right so and i'll split out in just a few minutes so make sure that you watch the video to the end so we we need this guy which is the cosine rule as well as what the sine rule okay now look at something the angle sp keep so the angle sp keep what i mean is that the angle is here right the angle is at p so here x x x s is the square here right? so here you have the x and then p is your, your home so here this angle here, right this angle from this this place to this place is what i'm calling the angle so this angle this small angle so uh, that is the 45 plus so that will give you more uh 105 right 105 degrees okay now why do you need this 105 look at something we need another guy called what? a cosine rule the reason is that if you want to redraw this triangle here this triangle this triangle this is a triangle right this is a triangle so if i want to redraw this thing here you can see that here is what 105 degrees we don't know this place we don't know this place you see none of the size is 90 degrees if one of the sides of the triangle is what 90 degrees then we can use a guy called pythagorean so theory right so we need something we need something and what can we use you and i know about we use a hammer to drive a, a, a nail into what a wood right so something of that nature so here we need a, what something so what we need here is the cosine rule since one of the angles is not what a 90 degrees suppose here is 90 degrees then we are free to go we can use the pythagoras of theory but none of this angle here is so 90 degrees that's why we need the cosine rule so let's see how to use the cosine rule here okay now perfect now the cosine rule says that this is what the cosine rule so the length of uh, what we are looking for so let me use this diagram to explain that the cosine rule here says that maybe the length this is what i'm calling the length the length from what the distance from q to x q to x squared so maybe at the high school let's say this square here help us to uh, ignore the negative because you cannot take a measurement a distance from your place to your house to be what a negative it doesn't exist so let's say this square here help us to what, eliminate what the negative just to for understanding purpose here so the distance from q to x so where is the q here q is your your friend's place right and then to x x is so the school so from here to here squared right it's equal to uh the distance from p to q right p to this guy here squared and then plus the this distance also squared right minus this is just a cosine rule you just need this because just like us you need a whiteboard marker to write on what the body here, right so the, the distance here says that this one squared plus is equal to p to q squared plus or that what it means is that look at something let me just explain this thing for you so this is what we are looking for right the question say we should find we should find this line the question say you should find this line here that is q to s so your friends place to uh, to the school we want this distance right so this is what we are looking for so what the cosine rule or uh, says that uh, what we are looking for this side is equal to this place plus this guy is that okay this place here we are looking for this so this guy is equal to this place plus this guy minus what two of uh, these two guys here right two then be multiplied by what the cost of what the angle the angle that you are giving look at the angle this angle here you are you are looking for this you are looking for this place so which angle is facing you so this is the angle that is facing this line is that okay so this angle right the cost of this angle whatever you are looking for its angle is what you take the cost for right so we are looking for this side here right this side here is equal to this side plus this one minus two of the two side cost of this is just something that you need right you need this you must know that before you can move on so the, that is what i'm having here so that is uh, the cost of uh, 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 qx squared is equal to pq squared here plus of px squared minus two of look at these two guys is what is multiplying here right this two length here the length here is what i'm having here this is also what i'm having here is that okay and then the cost of what uh, the angle that is facing you what you are looking for the cost of 
xpq spq is what we find here this angle that is what 105 here this angle right and you see that this angle is facing exactly what you are looking for this, this is our simple user the concept so just substitute in right substitute just replace it we don't know this is what we are looking for so this guy here from the question is so uh, 36 kilometers obviously beautiful okay uh, so the distance from your place your home to uh, your friend's place is so uh, you took 36 kilometers right to 36 kilometers so this is how simple you do that just replace them so from here that's 36 kilometers squared plus of ps gives you know, 55 from the question minus two here right i will say that these two guys are repeating so here is your 36 and then px is your 55 here and then the cost of what the angle that is facing what you are looking for so the angle that is facing is what 105 right everything so 105 here so if you use this thing or you calculate do the calculation perfectly you should arrive at what uh qs squared is equal to uh, 53.45.92 right so something of this nature so the cost of this one is included okay now you remember that we are looking for the distance that is from q to, to x right q to s is what we are looking for we are not looking for that squared so you just have to take the square root of both sides so after taking the square root of this side you should have something like 73.1 kilometer this kilometers is coming from the distance that we are having from the question remember that we are giving that distance to one side to uh, 36 kilometers as well as 55 uh, kilometers so now the length that is the length the distance from q to x meaning that the distance from uh, your friends place here to uh, to the school yeah yeah this red portion here is what uh 73.1 kilometers okay now the second question okay now that we find the distance from from the school to your friend's place basically you should find uh the angle right the angle in which you are moving so maybe from here to to to, to this line is that okay so let's call this place theta right that's a theta or maybe you can use anything to represent this so but for understanding purpose let's limit ourselves to a theta so we are using a theta to, to represent so, uh, the angle here so the distance that we are or maybe let's say the bearing or the direction in which you are moving from the school to your friend's place that's also what they say you should find so what do we need here always you need something so what do we need here we need something called the sign rule right the sign rule so make sure that you watch the video to the end and know exactly how to use it so the sign rule that i have a simple sentence here also that consider uh the bearing of what x what, uh, to q right so that is what they say you should find the bearing from x to q right uh b theta so that's what i just explained earlier on but let this angle here the small angle here p x q so maybe let's say p c p uh, x q right so this angle here this small angle here be what be b is that okay so we can use as i said earlier you can use any letters to do that so here i'm calling here to be theta and then that someone can say that why is not straightforward from here to this place is what 90 degrees look at something this distance from here to here is 55 and then from here to here is so 36 there's no way this guy will be online with this right so this is what i'm trying to say they are not they are not on the same line is that okay they are not on the same one line is longer than the other right if the question says that they are on the same line then we can straight for it up yes yeah, so or 90 degrees so let's let's find this portion so we are calling this guy to be what, a theta and then here to be what b why are we doing all this we are doing all this thing so that we can easily use what, what we call a cosine rule so you just need to know this guy right you know this guy and where to apply it we apply this thing when we have uh, uh but let's say we want to find one angle or one uh, one length or one distance from what the question being given so what it means here is that uh the, the cosine rule says says that or oh, it is a something that the sign of b here so look at something the sign the sign of b this angle here right this angle here over the length that is facing it so this guy is facing this this this, this boy here right so that is a 36 kilometers so the sign of b here we don't know yet right over that length right the length of uh, p to uh, uh, to kill so your your home to your friends or place here and then it's equal to that is what the sign rule is saying right something that we know right something that you, you are going to use is equal to the angle of uh, 
and the sign of the angle XPQ. So the XPQ, which one is the XPQ? So uh, the X is here, and then P is also here, and then you have the Q here. So this angle here, right? So what that the sign really saying is that if your angle is here, then you are going to be over what the line that is facing you. So if your angle is here, you are also going to be over what the whatever is here, and then if your angle is also here, that should be what you go to whatever is here right so that is how simple the sign rules are applied so, but here we are we need just one side we need just this angle here so the trick here is that we know that from here from here from here to this place is what 180 because from one to one here that is you know 90 and then 90 plus 90 will be what, 180 so once we get this place this place and then this place we can equate it to what, equal to 180 but if you get we're able to get two of them we can easily find the third one so that is where we are heading towards to right so if you're able the three one two three here three these three guys here will give me 180 you agree that from here to here is 90 and then from here to this place also 90 so it, it is being divided into three so once we find two here we can find the third one so we want to know this guy then that guy will help us to go to find out the third portion here so now by the cosine rule then we have the sign of b here over what uh, its length the length that is facing it is equal to the sign of the angle we know that this angle is so, uh, 105 we've already find that from the question right we've already done that at the beginning so here is so 105 so that's the sign i got so we don't know b sine b over the length of what, 35 that is equal to sine of 105 over what 73.1 this 73.1 here is the length that is facing 105 so 105 is here so what is the length we've already find that length to be uh, here to be uh, sorry here should be uh, 73.2 you've already found out that's the first part of the question right so if the angle is here is divided by the length here okay now we don't know this guy but we know its length so now that we have three things out of uh, the cosine rule right so you have sine b over what uh 36 here so 36 is equal to sine of what 105 divided by 73.1 here so we do the cross multiply then we are left with our sine b is equal to 36 so this guy will multiply here right this 36 multiply whatever is at the top here so you have 36 sine of 105 divided by 70 3.1 right so if you point this on the calculator if you know it could be the sign rule you point this on the calculator you show our sign b is equal to 0.476 so okay remember that we are looking for b right we are looking for b but not sign b this guy here we are looking for this guy this small angle here so we need to find out the b here so finding the b you take the sign inverse of what? both sides right taking the sign inverse of the both sides will give me what uh how to give me 28.4 if you enjoyed the video so far make sure that you subscribe to to the channel for more content like this okay now that we have our b as i said earlier we know we know so this is just a simple uh, a phrase here we know that uh theta plus b plus 45 is equal to 180 right as i said earlier on so this guy here this guy here plus this one plus one so will give me 180 and then we have b also to do uh 20 28.4 right you have so this guy plus this one plus this it will give him a 180 now we are free to go okay we are free to go remember what the assets to find they want us to find the the bearing of x to to q right the bearing so theta plus b plus 45 that gives you 180 degrees so if you solve everything perfectly you should have we had this b to go 28.4 right so we turn 8.4 here so the theta will be equal to 180 minus everything here so theta will be uh, 106 uh, 0.6 right so i run this thing if you are getting a difference i'll just comment down below therefore the bearing of q from x is of uh 106.6 degrees so this is how simple you solve so make sure that you subscribe to the youtube channel and then to watch another video on where to use the pythagoras theorem that is where uh one of the side is of uh, 90 degrees right so this is how simple you solve this type of thank you for watching this